I did some quick messing around. I was um trying to mimic uh Zelda 2 death screen. So what I did here was when you're at game over, you have no continues left. It warps you to this screen number in the underworld. Um, this screen number is this screen right here. And then after the uh, dummy monster that's supposed to be the player, after they uh, get through their little timer sequence, ignore gravity, after this timer goes up, they go to warp. When they go to warp, they warp to the next screen. And the next screen would just be the screen I put in there for the warp would be this one. And then I have it set on this screen when you push start button, it just resets. I can change this to like have another dummy invisible monster or something and have it so it like just resets, you know, the game after a certain time, plays music, maybe makes the bad guy laugh or something like that. You know, like Zelda 2 or Kung Fu has. So in Zelda 2, when you die, it would show something like this and the screen would flash. I'm not showing the flashing because it could cause seizures or something, and I'm not trying to put those in my game because of that as well. And then after that, it would show this screen, and then the game after like a certain time, which would be like three seconds of him laughing or something, would reset the game. Alright, so as you see, I have my game going. Player dies. I have a hurt tile set up just to kill the player. Goes to continue, it says continue. You push start, continues. And then when you die game over, goes to that screen. Then it says game over. Then you push start. And it resets the game. And the whole thing can continue in an endless loop. So using my um, continue system, game over continue system, it's really easy to do that. All you would do is just, like I said, put it in the location where you would warp to. Warp to that location. And then it would take you there. I put it in timer end scripts for mine. Um, that's where it goes after the player... Okay, so you go to the player hurt. I'm just going to show really quick, this is the end of the video. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I hope you drop a like and subscribe. The player hurt right here. Change action step to 7. Changes the player to 7. 7 takes you to the timer end script. Because in 7, it... Player action step seven goes to continue. Continues the timer end script. Timer end script takes you to continue on here. Continue on here is the thing that we're editing. Go to continue. And that's all this. So I tried to keep it quick. Hope everyone enjoys. Yeah, it's just under five minutes. So maybe this will help you if you've been doing the uh, continue system from my you know, game my tutorial I showed you. Thank you. Have a nice day.